All right, Arc Bird. Just to show you that the two servos that came with this, oops, I left that turned on, do not work at all. That's the uh, pan and tilt mount. Let me test this on my radio completely separate. Let's see. Those are my servos that do work. So I'll be using those for testing the Arc Bird. I want power going to battery, and then I want got elevator and aileron. I'm just going to throw it on those channels. It's servos. It doesn't matter what channel it's on. They should operate. One through four, no problem. And look at nothing. Completely nothing. Now that's these channels. Just to prove to you, it's not on those channels either. It's definitely channel one and two. And nothing. All right, so let's plug in my servos. Now, transmitter and receiver is powered up. And lo and behold, oh, look at that, they work. See? So these servos work fine. Now, let's unplug this. So, point proven. Let's move these over here. Let's hook it up to this supposedly great Arcbird wireless head tracker setup that's been a nightmare and comes with like no instructions all right I'm gonna take this now the way you guys say it in the diagram you want positive and negative coming from the battery going through either a BEC or an ESC which drops it down to 5 volts which basically that's what I got going on that's isolating out going out so that I got the positive and negative 5 volts going to the servos just like you say in the diagram now I'm going to take the signal wire from each servo, like you say in the diagram. How many times am I going to say that over and over again? And now on yaw and pitch on the top of the board, signal from that to each servo. I had to make a lot of custom wires just to get this done. It would have been nice if you guys would have provided people with the proper harness. You might get more customers if this is a little more user friendly. I at least appreciate the reply on the customer service. That's better than I can say about some other companies. But, you guys, I might have to send this to you and have you wire it up and test it for yourselves because you're going to see that this is not working properly. So like I said, now I have this coming down from the battery right here. So when I power this up, now we have the receiver is powered up, the positive and negative. We got the ground, the VCC, 12 volt in 12 volt in just like you say in the diagram signal out signal out 12 volt out over here converts to five so to the servos now let's turn on this here's your transmitter now the light status is completely correct now it's on and it should be working we have the proper light status proper light status no movement no servo response and I can even try and calibrate Still, nothing. And I even tried the, uh, the calibration with the rotation thing. It won't even let me do that. You go one, two, three, one. And then it just, it doesn't even give me a chance to get to that mode. It automatically goes through. And there's two different videos. The older version, you don't have to do that. And this version, it automatically, as long as you're holding it like this. So I don't know what's going on, guys. I've wired it properly. I have everything done the way you said. My servos work. It's not my equipment. I'm getting proper power. Everything is hooked up correct. I don't know. Help me out here. Do I send it back to the company with these wires and have you guys wire it up and send it back all wired for me? Or do you just send me a new one because this one isn't working? But either way, nice on the mount, but the servos you sent me both don't work. So yeah, let me know.